Have you ever seen a tidal flat so special, so beautiful? Peaceful as it may seem, tidal flats are amazingly dynamic, a hidden world rich in life. This dynamic part of Earth, created throughout geological history, is called Getbol in Korean. Within the Gitbol, or Korean Tidal Flat, lies a complete universe found nowhere else in this world. The Yellow Sea, the best example of an epic continental seabed found on Earth. Since the last glacial maximum, part of the land, which was once a continental boundary, has been submerged because of rising sea levels and has become a shallow sea. The area has changed into a vast continental shelf, being located along the Pacific Ocean's Ring of Fire, an area with an abundance of volcanic activity and earthquakes. As a result of rising sea levels, thousands of islands have been created along the southwest coast of Korea, an area with a high concentration of tall mountains along the Yellow Sea. Most of Korea's major rivers run to the southwestern coast, supplying an abundance of sediments from the lands they flow through. This area has large tidal ranges of up to 10 meters. Rapid tidal currents due to macro tidal ranges have created complex channels between numerous rocky islands. With a tide which flows in and out every six hours, pterogenous sediments accumulate to form various tidal flat landforms. The continental monsoon climate brings seasonal winds to the area, creating broad tidal flats with completely different features both on the inside and outside of the rocky islands. This is not only the world's most complex coastal sedimentation system, but also shows the world's one and only coastal landform as well. The outer parts of these islands have been eroded by waves, whilst the inner parts have been protected by rocky islands from the ocean waves over 8,500 years, resulting in thick and stable tidal flat deposits. Additionally, sentiments with complex and varied characteristics have accumulated and have gone on to surround numerous islands, creating different types of tidal flats. Strong winds during the winter season create sand flats on the northwestern and western sides of the islands, while mud flats are formed on the inner parts. There are combined flats filled with sand and mud, a rocky substrate. The habitat of diverse rock shells and marine algae marshes where most of the significant halophyte species in the world's vegetation zones inhabit, dunes sculpted by the wind, and you can also find chenier, a characteristic sedimentary body formed by storms, as well as the unprecedented landform, sand gravel strings. This variety of tidal sentiments showcases how the coastal landform has evolved in harmony over 8,500 years. The Getbol, or Korean Tidal Flat, has resulted in great geological diversity with sandy, muddy, and rocky substrates. What's more, inside each habitat, unique and complex ecosystems have evolved. Benthic diatoms, which serve as the primary producer, have formed their communities in the sand flats. Creatures that feed on benthic diatoms, such as Stimson's ghost crabs, yellow sea sand snails, polychaetes, and clams also inhabit this area. 
water birds have become the apex predator. Benthic diatom communities also have been formed in the mud flats. Creatures that feed on them, including Japanese mud crabs, fiddler crabs, and polychaetes, live as dominant species. Mud octopuses have become the apex predator. Each habitat holds different food sources, and different kinds of water birds appear depending on the geographical and geological environments of the area. In addition, mud, sand, and rocky substrates are closely connected, contributing to the creation of the complex and colorful ecosystems in the Gitbol. And the movement between these two neighboring habitats demonstrates their interconnection. Different species have been able to evolve within their own communities in each habitat. As tidal flat organisms dig into deep anaerobic sediments, their source of oxygen. Every species has a different ability to dig, with different communities of living organisms having evolved within their own depths, and deep oxidized layers contribute greatly to the maintenance of the great biological diversity of the Gitbol. The Gitbol is world-renowned for the diversity of its species. It has the highest level of primary production among all the tidal flats in the temperate climate zone, and also has the highest species diversity of benthic diatoms, macrobenthos, and marine algae. In addition, the Korean tidal flat serves as an internationally crucial stopover site in the East Asian, Australasian flyway. As such, it protects many endangered water bird species, including spoon-billed sandpipers. The Gitbol also has the highest ratio of endangered water birds in the world. The Korean tidal flat has also been an important food source for humans, who still utilize traditional practices based on indigenous knowledge. After assimilating with the ecosystem, they have long lived alongside the tidal flats after becoming the apex predator in the area. Strong seasonal winds in the winter, alongside typhoons in the summer, continuously restore the tidal flats, which have been adversely affected by human fishery activity. There are four areas where you can learn about the outstanding universal values of the Gitbol, or Korean Tidal Flat. They are the Socheon Gitbol, the Gochan Gitbol, the Shinan Gitbol, and the Bosong Sunchon Gitbol. Centering around 15 large and small islands at the mouth of the Gumgang River, including Yubudo Island and Dejukdo Island, Sochon Gitbol is an estuary type of Gitbol, with many of its islands being covered in mud. A large amount of suspended sediment from the Gumgang River and mud deposits in the open seas were swept by tidal currents into Yubudo Island and the surrounding area, resulting in the creation of this vast tidal flat. Sand dunes, sand spits, and beaches have been formed on the outer parts of Yubudo Island as a result of tidal power, while broad mudflats have been made across the inner part of the island and along the coast. As suspended sediments from the Gumgang River are high in nutrients, the Sochung Gitbol shows the highest primary productivity in the world. Benthic diatoms, marine algae, macrobenthos, Water birds and many more creatures are supported by the tidal flat. Nearly 147,000 water birds across 85 different species visit the Sochon Gitbol. What's more, the area supports the largest number of two endangered water bird species the spoon billed sandpipers and the Eurasian oyster catchers. The Gochang Gitbol is an open bay type of mudflat, located at both the inner and outer sides of Gomsoman Bay. 
distinctive layers of sand and mud with combined flats in between can be observed in the sedimentary bodies. Most rocky islands in this area are completely covered by sediment. As a result of the continental monsoon climate, the Kochang Gepo shows the most dynamic and distinctive seasonal changes of its sedimentary fossils. Chenies and other characteristic sedimentary bodies can be found alongside varied ecosystems, where the coexistence of salt marshes, mud, sand, and rocky habitats can be observed. The Kochang Gepo shows the greatest amount of species diversity of benthic diatoms among the components of cereal sites. Moreover, it provides a stopover site for an approximate 40,000 waterbirds, including the stork, an endangered species on the IUCN Red List. The tiger crab, a species endemic to the Yellow Sea, which is known to be the only species of its monotypic genius, also inhabits the Gochang Getbo. The Shinan Getbo is an archipelagic type of Getbo, surrounding an approximate 850 islands. This is the largest of the four tidal flats, covering 110,086 hectares in size, which accounts for 85% of the total mudflat area. Though thick mud layers have formed, this area also has deep tidal channels, as well as islands with a high altitude. Deep tidal channels and various types of tidal flats formed by the macrotidal range and rapid tidal currents present an extremely unique landform, which can be found nowhere else on the planet. Formed as a result of a range of conditions, the Shinan Gepo has greater geodiversity than anywhere else. Each and every type of tidal flat existing on Earth can be found in this area. The Shinan region is the only place in the world where you can see the sand grave string. Another remarkable feature of the Shinan Gepo is its thick mud flats which have a maximum depth of 40 meters and result from a stable and consistent sedimentation process across rocky islands over 8,500 years. Benthic diatoms, marine algae, macrobenthos, and other numerous species living in the Shinan Gepo allow the area to get top marks in species diversity amongst the other components of the cereal sites. Mud octopuses, the apex predator of the tidal flats, are most frequently observed in the Shinan Gepo. This gives the best illustration of how ecological evolution progressed in the mud flats among the parts of the cereal sites. In addition to 14 endangered species of migratory birds, including great knots and Chinese egrets, nearly 54,000 water birds from 90 different species visit the Shinan Gepo as their stopover site. Sediments supplied from the Gumgang River ultimately reach the Bosong Sunchung Gepo the semi-enclosed type of mudflat lying at the innermost part of the large Yojaman Bay. Due to its small sediment deposit rate, thin sedimentary layers have been formed along the inner parts of the islands, and some islands with a high altitude still remain. Tidal currents running counterclockwise across the Yojaman Bay have contributed to the formation of unique tidal flats ranging from some 20 islands, including Jiangdou Island and Sunchanman Bay. Mud flats formed at the innermost part of the large and isolated Yojaman Bay are made up of fine deposits that have been eroded as they travel downstream on the Gumgang River. The Sunchon Gepo consists of the finest sediments among the components of the cereal sites.
This area has the largest salt marshes amongst the component parts of the cereal property. A wide variety of halophytes, such as sea blights and broadleaf phacellaris, have formed communities here. Reeds and seepweeds live here as the dominant species. The Bosong Sunchon Gepo supports the most diverse species of water birds amongst the component parts of the cereal sites. A total of 99 species of water birds inhabit the location. Hooded cranes, registered on the IUCN red list as vulnerable, can be most frequently observed at the Sunchoman Bay in Korea. Their numbers have been increasing steadily as a result of constant and effective management. The Getbo, or Korean Tidal Flat, with its outstanding universal value, is protected under the Korean Wetlands Conservation Act. Any new construction and or extension of artificial structures, the extraction of earth, sand and minerals, any activity of increasing or decreasing the level or amount of water in the wetlands, aka reclamation, and or the introduction of organisms disturbing the ecosystem are basically prohibited in the wetland protected areas. Various policies and systems are in place to adequately manage any threats against the OUV of the nominated property. Local residents, together with the local government, clean up marine trash on a regular basis. The collected trash are treated outside the areas of the nominated property. In order to prevent any damage to the tidal flats, the Gitbo visitor centers and the local community work together to prohibit unauthorized entry into the tidal flats. The visitor centers also contribute to raising awareness of both local people and visitors alike through various education and experience programs. Every component of the Korean tidal flats has its own distinctive geological, geographical, and ecological features. These characteristics work together to contribute to justifying the outstanding universal value of the Korean tidal flat from any perspective. A beautiful and unique world of its own, born from the long history of this planet, it's the Korean Tidal Flats. Providing a comfortable habitat for a diverse range of creatures as a last shelter for endangered species and also giving humans new significance as part of the circle of life. The Korean Gitbo, or Tidal Flat, is the treasure of humanity we are borrowing from the next generation. Together with local residents, the national and global communities are embarking on a journey for survival and coexistence. Join us on this significant and important journey.